This, this is Entertainment 97. Entertainment 97. Welcome to Entertainment 97. For the love of music. Information, reviews, the movies, and the party scene. Entertainment 97. Coming up, local and international entertainment news highlights. Entertainment flashback in 60 seconds, this week's hot happenings, and check this out. Good afternoon, I'm Yashika Graham, and this is Entertainment 97. Heading local entertainment news, newly crowned queen of the dancehall, Spice, has topped the US iTunes reggae charts with her latest album, Emancipated. The nine-track project debuted at number one on the UK iTunes reggae charts, number one on the top reggae albums chart, and is the number one best-selling reggae album on Amazon. The track list features the previously released single Clap Clap and the viral much debated song Tape Measure. In international entertainment news, pop star Madonna has become the first woman with top 10 projects on the Billboard 200 Albums chart in the 1980s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and now the 2020s. The iconic artist's new remix compilation, Finally Enough Love, debuted in the number 8 spot on the chart, and she is the 10th music act and first woman to achieve this distinction. Madonna secured her first top 10 albums with her self-titled debut work, released back in October 1984. This week's entertainment flashback in 60 seconds continues to take a brief walk with the nun who nurtured reggae, Sister Mary Ignatius Davies. Despite how well-rounded Sister Ignatius was, she was perhaps most known by all for her great love of music. It was that passion for music that made the Alpha Boys School Band program flourish tremendously. Imagine Bones, as Sister Ignatius was affectionately called by the boys, spinning records at a DJ's turntables, music pumping from the huge speakers for the boys who danced to the hits. It was indeed quite the sight. Now, Sister Ignatius recognized the potential of the music for her boys and saw music as a sustainable living that would grow and grow for years to come. Sister Ignatius helped her boys get employment after they left Alpha with the popular orchestras in Kingston, like the Eric Deans Orchestra. She also gave band leaders permission to directly scout from Alpha Boys Band for talent by working with her. One of her boys was also the controversial genius trombonist Don Drummond. Alpha Boys were also incredibly innovative. The education they received at Alpha and the possibilities they were shown by the amazing Sister Ignatius allowed them to create and expand the boundaries of Jamaican music. Alpha Boys weren't just performing the standards in the clubs, though. They were generating their own form, their own genre, their own blends from what they learned and what they loved. And so, when the rhythm and blues of America combined with the calypso and the mento of the islands, as well as the jazz of the schools, it was Alpha, and more specifically, Sister Ignatius, who made that combination possible. And that's your bite for this week. Tune in next week, same time, same place, for another epic entertainment flashback in 60 seconds. In this week's Hot Happenings, this Sunday, September 4, join the young lion Craig Ross at Meritone Sundays and have a merry old time, 6 to 11 p.m. Venue is at the Regency Bar and Lounge. Call to make your reservations. And this and every Tuesday, head on over to House of Flames Bar and Grill, 1C Jacks Hill Road for Meritone Tuesdays. Start time, 7 p.m. Every Tuesday at 7th Heaven, 7th South Avenue in Kingston, head out to the Reggae Liza Roots Dub and Reggae in a dancehall style. From 8 p.m. to 1 a.m., enjoy music by Crafted International. Queens get in free, King's admission is $1,000. Go check out Grammy-nominated reggae singer Skip Marley and Nigerian-based Afropop sensation Ira Starr on a brand new single titled Jane. The song is about finding something to keep you balanced and free from stress. And who doesn't need that right now, right? 
So go add it to your playlist and check it out. And that's it for Entertainment 97. I'm Yashika Graham. Thanks to technical producer Edson Johnson and producer Abby Gay Wilson. And thank you for keeping it locked to the coolest station in the nation. Tune in for your weekly dose of entertainment scoops every Friday with Entertainment 97.